Hey guys, Blue Neon here, and welcome to another episode of Elder Scrolls Online. Let's go! May we have your attention, please? Hi, Commander. How are you? You there. The Marma attacked yes, Cat's Eye Key with their Sea Viper forces. We need every able body for the rescue effort. Uh, Zuri said you were preparing for a counterattack. Huh. A counterattack? I'd settle yeah. for an organized defense. Our forces are scattered too thin. If we can't hold the gates, Mistral will fall to the Marma. What can I do? I'll coordinate Dominion forces from here, but I can't lock down this gate until the survivors clear out of the market. Send them my way. We need everyone able to defend Mistral on this side of the wall. Okay, bye. Time to go get people. Snakes. Oh. Giant snakes coming from the sea. Okay? Those Malma pirates came from the water. They're all over yeah. Cat's Eye Key. Alright, what happened to you? Sea vipers happened. One must have struck okay. me on the head. When I woke, oh, a wow. sea viper was carving strange runes on my bodyguard's skin. I hit that awful pirate with a broken spar and we ran. Are you no, serious? we can still move. We'll head to Mistral if it's safe there. By the it eight, it's inspiring dope. to see Dominion soldiers. The what Marine Dominion by the soldiers? gate to Cat's Eye Key plans to strike back at the Sea Vipers. I'm sure she can tell you the details. We'll get moving. See ya. That's a big white cat. We can't let those Maramal pirates reach Mistral. They'll butcher our families. I saw so great serpents emerge from the waters. Those sea viper cowards made them snap at everyone in striking distance. Wow, were you wounded? When I saw my neighbors fall, I ran. What kind of Kashit am I? You were with Dominion, yes? Give those pirate cowards a taunting. You'll do. You should say yourself. I'll do no Mr. such Mr. thing. Well, so I wouldn't you. All what right. are you doing okay, here? Marie. It doesn't matter. If you're in the mood to cave in some sea viper skulls, I don't really care. <laughs> One of the survivors says that you're planning to counter You feel that cold air rushing off the sea? Just like it was before the hurricane. We can't wait to cut off the snake's head. We are the Dominion counterattack. I sent my squad to scout Cat's eye key. If they haven't learned with the sea viper's plan, we can poke around until we figure out what needs chopping. Don't right. worry. The wizard friend can seal the gate behind us. Uh, shouldn't you hold the gate? Come on. Damn it, lag! Yes, wait. You aided me at the Temple of the Morning Springs. I'd be a fool not to return. You've already proven your courage. If I'm to die in this battle, I'd rather it be at your. Then let's go. Alright, come There'll on. Be Keep an eye out for my soldiers. I'm sure they'll help you hook some fish elves. Ah, oh, it's time to go. No. Alright, I mean, uh, Cat's Eye Key. Take the paper. Down we go.
place. Examine. Search the body. Fan marks. Her weapons are broken. Heavy squashes her arm. One limp holds a bloody bandage. Take the paper. Now I gotta search a mine. Mine, 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 mine. Let's go to the mine. Ringing head is bad, but when it remains somewhat head shaped, <laughs> that is good, yes? What I was you? in the caves working when I heard a strange howling. Then warriors came out of nowhere. Sea vipers, our pirates. We paid protection through the month and let them put those strange totems in our cave. They've never been in this woman trade. Uh, I, I meant moon sugar. It hit my head, you see. What Our deaths, I suppose? After they killed enough of us, they left the rest of us alone. They knew we wouldn't fight back. They only paid attention to those totems. Well, until they collapsed the cave entrance. Why did they collapse Some the high cave? elf wizard tried to get in, so they collapsed it. I dove outside. Lucky me. The wizard tried to tell me something, but I couldn't hear him at all. He stuffed this paper in my hands and walked off. Here, maybe you can... Uh, what's that? My ears were ringing. Would you mind repeating the obvious? Oh, wait, wait, don't <laughs> think me ungrateful. The wizard was uh, looking for another way into the caves. I heard rumors of a secret door by the... Thanks. Hey, I didn't even have to go all the way over there. There's a secret entrance right here. In the wind tunnel. Let's go! Whoa! These totems seem to harness a combination of wind and spirit. I wonder if I can... Excuse me? Indeed. I suppose stopped. that's optimal. These sea viper rituals are barbaric, but quite effective. The hurricane they summoned to dash our fleet against Kanapi's roost? That's nothing compared to their current efforts. What's worse you than a hurricane? clearly haven't studied the fundamentals of blood sacrifice. You see, these serpent-shaped statues, they're storm totems? They collect spirit energies from rune-marked subjects and channel it, like water through a funnel. Exactly the right question. It seems the sea vipers use a specialized lodestone to block the channel. Approach an active storm totem, hold forth the lodestone, and harmlessly siphon the energy away. You should see for you completely. Sure Go helpful. ahead, don't be shy. Uh, it's not as though the storm totem's energies will cascade throughout your body until you're nothing but a lifeless smoking husk. <laughs> but do avoid uh... standing in the pot. Phenomenal. I knew proximity was the key. And look at you. Not even a hint of electrocution. <laughs> you have the principle. Now to apply it to the other storm totems before... Well, best not to worry. Uh, no, I really shouldn't worry you. Okay, tell me what to see about I can't say for certain. Totems. It's one of two things, neither of which is good for anyone on this island. You don't stoop to blood sacrifice unless you need a lot of energy very quickly. And, well, okay. to release it just as quickly. Listen, right, you that? handle the storm totems. I'll determine how to best counteract the sea viper blood ritual without destroying Mistral. Does that seem equitable? The only yeah, that seems all right. Let's go. There's one. Oh, it's protecting this one. Oh. Uh. 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 
Spells are wonderful. Yes! Get the last one. Aha, I killed you. This is Eelson, speaking directly to your mind. Find my Sigic projection near the tunnel exit. I know how to stop the Marma. Let's go then! And stop them! Why are you not in here, coward? I know what they're planning. Through my Sigic projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistral. The Sea Vipers summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that energy into their bound storm slave. The creature can only hold so much energy before it discorporates. All the energy will wash over Kanathi's roost, killing anything it touches. Except for the thunderbugs, of course. Oh, and the mountain north of Mistral will shatter, leaving no trace of the town. <laughs> uh, there must be a way to stop There's this. the genius of their plan. How do you find a creature made of storm energies? With the wind itself. Three ritual horns trap Storm Slave, but the Lodestone now has enough storm energy to counteract the false winds. Elegant, yes? What happens when I release these Storm Slave? It will shed its corporeal form and safely release its stored energy. Uh, by safely, I mean in relation to Kanathi's roost. I recommend moving a fair distance away from Storm Slave when this happens. Perhaps keeping solid rock between it and yourself? You'll have right, no I'll trouble. Stop it. Let's go. I've read about such things, but the books don't do it justice.
Come, you must leave this place. Follow me. My friend, to escape death so triumphantly is constant thrill, yes? The Maumar are me? fled or dead thanks to your efforts. Can Arthi's roost is safe and voluntarily a part of the Ald Mary Dominion? So if you Thank must you. know, Razumdar keeps an eye on the cross and people. Quest complete! Yes. Alright guys, this is the end of this video here. It was a very short one, but I'll see you guys in the next one!